Hey, what's up, YouTube? King James here. The latest super broken weapon to hit Warzone is the Psykov pistol. It was just released, and if you haven't tried it yet, you've probably been killed by it. And that's because it's got a crazy fast fire rate, a massive magazine, and is, well, super broken, like a lot of new guns when they first bring them out. Probably gonna get nerfed, but while it's not, you really need to give it a try because it's really crazy and actually really fun to use. And I've got a whole bunch of different builds for you that I've been trying out. So let me bring that to you right now. So to unlock the Psycog, you need to get four kills in five different matches. I did this in multiplayer as it was really easy to do there and you can just jump in with a pistol, get four kills and back out and it still counts. Unlike Cold War where it doesn't give you credit for it, if you back out of the match, Modern Warfare it does. And this is a Modern Warfare gun. So you just gotta jump in and I use shoot the ship, get four kills and then back out and do that five times in a row and you got the gun unlocked. Now I've got the gun unlocked, but in order to unlock a Kimbo, which is dual wield, you need to do one more thing. And I've already got it unlocked, but you see down here. But if you wanna unlock it, you have to use the Mo Money perk. So you're gonna have to get it up to, you know, sort of a mid level. I think it was around 32 it unlocked. And you have to get three kills in five different matches using Mo Money. And if you do that, it'll unlock the Akimbo for you, which is how you dual wield it. So I tried it with an optic, without an optic and a Kimbo. So let me show you all the different ways and the builds that I was using for it. All right, so here's using the Psychov with fully automatic, the 80 round drum and no optic. And it's super easy to use. It's easy to aim. It's got a fast ADS and it just absolutely mows guys down. There's nothing in the game with a time to kill as fast as this gun right now. So if you can get it unlocked and use it before they nerf it, cause you know it's coming. This thing is crazy strong to use like this. All right, let me show you my no optic build. So there's a couple of basic mods you're gonna use on the gun no matter what. And for that, it's the barrel. And the first barrel is the 140 auto it gives a full uh, fire rate and full auto mode so this thing just shoots crazy fast and for the trigger you're going to want to use the lightweight double action trigger because it also gives you more fire rate and aiming stability so that makes this thing shoot crazy fast fully automatic and then of course you got to have the 80 round drums it gives you 80 rounds either in single or in both guns if you're using a Kimbo so you got a ton of ammo it's like nuts and you can mow so many guys down with without having to reload. So there's just a couple of other options left. If you wanna stay off the mini map, run the monolithic suppressor. It also gives you more damage range. And then I was using a rear grip. I tried the TAC laser just to um, see about the ADS speed, but I think you actually get more with the um, with this one here, the VLK prize rack. Priz, Prizrak, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, you get more ADS and sprint to fire. So if you wanna stay off the mini map and have really fast ADS with no optic, this is how I was running it. Now let me show you it with an optic. So this is my build with an optic and I found the optic really made it easy to use at much greater distances. The sort of boxy unoptic version was a little harder to use. As soon as you add the optic on it, now you're gonna lose one of your attachments, but man, this thing was an even bigger killer than it was without the optic. So, I don't know, I don't mind iron sights. I run them on lots of my guns, but this one with the optic was crazy strong, easy to use. And I found that even at like greater distances, I had no problem. Now up close, it's still an absolute monster and the ADS is still very fast, but at greater ranges like here with the no optic and the akimbo, I could never get those guys at long distances like that where with the optic, it was super easy and super strong. Even close like that, long, this thing was great everywhere. So you're gonna use the same basic three attachments, the barrel, the trigger, and the 80 round drum. And for the optic, I was using the Solo Zero. It has a really clean sight picture. And then the only other thing you can do is you either choose between the monolithic suppressor if you really wanna stay off the mini map, or go to the rear grip and grab the ADS and sprint to fire. I was using this and not worrying so much about staying off the mini map with it like this. And I found it to be really strong and super fun to use. And then there's one more setup, which is a Kimbo. And let me show you that. And here's the Akimbo build. Now, the thing you're gonna notice about this is at range, it's really hard to get kills. Now, it shoots super fast and it's absolutely nuts. 80 rounds with two guns. If anybody's close to you, oh my God, it's just an absolute massacre nightmare. Like, look at that. That time to kill is hundreds of a second, but you have no accuracy at range at all. You can't hit anybody from far away. So if they're even greater than 15 meters, it really doesn't work or maybe I'm just not that good at it but oh my god up close you can just 
murder people. It just like uh, it would almost delete their account. That was so nasty. But at any kind of range or or you know anything beyond 15 meters, it really wasn't all that great. It's fun to use and a bit of a novelty, but like two guys right there dead faster than a single guy with an SMG. But you just have no accuracy at range. So anyway, let me show you my akimbo build. Okay, so for akimbo, basically the same thing, right? Same barrel, same trigger, same ammunition. And you're not gonna run an optic because you're always hip firing anyway. So you're gonna go to your perks, you're gonna grab akimbo, which is gonna give you the dual. And then for the laser, you definitely wanna run the five milliwatt laser to get the extra hip fire accuracy. It's gonna give you sprint to fire as well. And that'll make it so that at least you have the best accuracy you can get when you're running it. Now this here is without using a monolithic suppressor. So if you really wanna use a monolithic suppressor, take the laser away Way and run the suppressor to stay off the mini map but the only thing is you're going to lose a little bit of hip fire accuracy so you can decide how you want to run it based on that so which one was my favorite well the akimbo for really close range is nuts it's super fast time to kill but it really lacks accuracy and any kind of range without the optic i found the guns were just really like square and boxy when i was looking down it so i had a little bit of trouble using it with no optic but it did have a faster ads speed with the rear grip and then with the optic i think was my favorite way to run it. it gives a really clean sight picture with that solo zero optic the ads is still crazy fast it's super fast time to kill up close and you can still get kills medium and long range so the with optic version was my favorite of the three anyway give me your thoughts in the comment section down below guys i love to hear what you think let me know which one you like the best and as always if you don't see me in warzone you don't see me multiplayer it's only a matter of time baby king james out